Hey guys, how's it going? It's Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my redstone tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build a surgical bed mini game. Now, if you've been watching my channel, you would know that this tutorial has been coming up, but this contraption allows you to heal slash mend players in a fun way. Now, this is more one of those fun type of contraptions. It's not really useful for survival, but if you're on a server with friends, this is something to really kind of get a bit of a laugh out of and have some fun. But without further ado, let's go ahead and let's check out this now. So let's head into my mansion here. And we've got Sir Piggles and just young Greg at the kitchen here. But let's head down into the basement where we actually have the mini game. So here it is, the surgical bed mini game. So the first thing that we have to do is get a player into the bed. So they would come around the back here, hop into the bed. You would then close the door on them, and now surgery is ready to commence. And we have lights there indicating that we can begin surgery. So the first thing we have to do is turn on the heart monitor here. So I'd flick that on, and as you can see, if there was a player in there, we could hear their heartbeat to make sure they're not going to die during the surgery. So we've got a couple of options here. So we can do a jab, a skin rebuild, heart transplant, and a blood transfusion and simply what this does is when we press these buttons is it will fire a potion at them uh, so we just fired an iron skin potion at the player at the bed and they will actually obtain that potion so we got a blood transfusion as well which does strength and also a heart transplant which will do instant health so you can customize them however you like and then once they're done turn off the heart monitor and let them out so it's just a cool little fun mini game to play with your friends and I'm going to show you guys how you can build this now. Now if you guys enjoyed this redstone tutorial today make sure you remember to go ahead and snap that like button we need it snapped right in half. If you want to keep up to date with all my latest redstone tutorials make sure you go ahead and subscribe as well I suggest you press that post notification button so you definitely don't miss out on any new uploads but let's go ahead and let's get into this tutorial now. So the materials that you're going to need is 21 redstone dust, 8 redstone torches, 6 redstone repeaters, 1 redstone comparator, 4 dispensers, 6 hoppers, 2 note blocks, 2 redstone lamps, 1 iron door, 2 levers, 4 buttons of your choice, I've just gotten wooden ones, 1 bed and 64 blocks of your choice. Uh, I had to burp. Now to position this a whole lot easier, the first thing that we're going to do is create the bed chamber. So let's go ahead, let's get out our bed here, and then we're going to place this down facing backwards to us. So if this is our front, we're going to place it facing towards the front like that. So place that down. Then what we're going to do is get our four dispensers and place them on the sides of the beds here facing into it. Then we're going to create a little kind of doorway at the back here. So create three high pillars at the end dispensers here. Then one in the middle there. We're going to put a lever on this top middle one. Then what we're going to do is place our iron door, not in between these two blocks. We want to actually place it on this block before it. So what you want to do is face to the right here and then place it down while looking at this bottom right corner of that block so it's placed in an open state then when we actually flick the lever down it's going to close now we're going to come around here we're going to place in front of the middle block at the top here two redstone lamps then on top of those redstone lamps we're going to place redstone here and then two like so now the glass is kind of not included in the materials here this is kind of just up to you however you want to design it so you could put glass panes there but regardless let's go ahead let's go into the next step here so one block from the bed we're going to place a block here and this is going to be where the heartbeat monitor is so we're going to pop a lever on top of that then our other controls are simply going to be two blocks to the right so one two then one back place a block there and then one more same on the other side just symmetrical then we're going to get our four buttons and they're going to go on top of those four blocks we just placed. Now we're going to create the heartbeat sound effect. So this is basically where we actually flick this lever on. It's going to have the sound of a heartbeat like we're actually listening to the player that's in there. 
So what we need to do is dig out a three wide by five long by three deep hole. Now where we're gonna start is actually from this corner over here. So dig out this block, then we're gonna dig the two to the left, then come to this one and we're gonna dig five towards, I oh not five, I mean four in this direction. So one, two, three, four. Then two to the left and then come back to the start. And then we just need to dig this down two more layers. So that's one layer. And that is the second layer. And now it should be three deep. What we're gonna do is at the back here, we're gonna place three blocks like that. Dig out this block under the block that the uh, lever is on. We're gonna place redstone under it a redstone repeater on this block coming out of the one that the redstone is on facing towards the front we then need to create a kind of a loop of hoppers here so we're going to start by placing a hopper going into this block here then we need to crouch and then right click this hopper that one that we just placed and kind of create a little circuit and we'll test this to make sure that it is a circuit then once you've placed them kind of going in this in this order so it should all the hoppers here should lead into this one we need to actually destroy this first one and then place it so it's facing into this last one here so crouch right click and then we'll just test to make sure that this goes around so chuck one item in and if you look in here it should flash that item and let's get that out then from this front right hopper here we're gonna have a comparator coming out facing towards the front and then this is going to detect any item that goes uh, through this hopper here, which uh, will pulse the heartbeat sound. So we actually need to place some rock type blocks um, below the note block. So we're gonna have a note block here, a space, and then a note block here. So get out our note blocks now, place them on top of those two blocks. And then coming from this left on here, we're gonna have a redstone repeater going into the other one and right click it till it gets to its max, max delay. Then if we go ahead and we're actually gonna chuck one of our blocks into here. We should now hear it creating a heartbeat. Now we do need to stop that when the heartbeat monitor is off. So simply place a piece of redstone on top of this hopper here. So crouch, right click. Then if we actually flick that lever on, it's going to stop the heartbeat. Now the last step is to connect these controls up here to the dispensers and that is pretty simple. So we're first going to start on this right side here. So come to the first control here and dig out this block to the right of it. We're then going to dig back until we get in line with this last dispenser here. Then dig to the left and then we're just gonna dig back straight to the front here. And then we're gonna dig this down one more layer. Now let's connect this first control up. So we need to place a block under it. Redstone under like so. Redstone repeater coming out of that block. We're gonna lead that into a piece of redstone dust. To the left of that redstone, we're gonna dig out this block here and then the one below it. Then bring this back another two layers. So dig out this block again and one below it. And then dig out this block, but then don't dig out the one below it. Instead, we're gonna place a torch on top of that block we're then going to place a piece of redstone dust next to the block that the redstone torch is on and we're going to get a redstone torch here, place it on the left side of that block there and it should power that redstone turning off that torch. Then to connect up the other one we have to place a redstone torch on the back side of it, block underneath it with a piece of redstone dust on top, redstone repeater and then we need to place two redstone dust going towards the back destroy the next block and then the one to the left of it, two redstone down in that hole, then dig out this block to the right of the redstone torch there, redstone torch underneath and now those are connected up and we can do the other side now so I won't go into too much detail, we just need to dig all the way back here until we're in line with it. One more layer. Connect this one up here, so block underneath, redstone, redstone repeater, redstone, dig out the blocks, 
torch, redstone, torch. Then the other one, we have a torch on the back there. Another block, redstone, redstone repeater. Then we go towards the back here, dig out these two blocks, and then place down the redstone torch. As simple as that. So that is all the construction complete now. What we're going to do is go ahead and cover this up. So this is just a bit of decoration tips. So we're going to go ahead, cover this up here. We might include a little bit of a floor here. So let's grab out a nice block, maybe some cyan hardened clay here. We're going to just put grass on this outside bit here. Now, then as well, you might want to do some glass here. Uh, this is kind of really up to you. So fill this all in with maybe glass. So you want to make it an actual uh, chamber-like. Uh, surgical bed. Now lastly what you want to do is get out some potions. Now they have to be potions, uh, splash potions I mean. So maybe you want to give a person a jump boost so we get some of those out. Let's pop it into this one at the back here. So once they're filled up another good thing is to label them as well. So you might want to, uh, for here you just want to put like heart monitor. Then here you would put like the type of surgical procedure that you're doing. So for this one here, this one here links up to this back one, which is jump boost. So maybe you want to might do, I don't know, leg um, reconstruction. So that is all the construction complete. What I'm going to do now is teach you guys how this actually works. Now this is probably one of my more simple redstone contraptions, but I'm still going to teach you guys how this actually works. So we'll start here with the heart monitor. So currently it is switched on, which means that it's going to be holding an item in this here. Now I'm sorry about the notification on my phone just there, but basically whenever an item hopper is powered, it's not going to let that item actually go into the next um, inventory, whatever it is. Uh, and in this case, it is a hopper. But when this is flicked off, it's basically going to go in this circle here because that's how we set up the direction of the hoppers here. That's going to loop around in a circle. Now every time an item actually goes into here, this comparator is going to detect it, which sends a signal out into this note block. This note block is then powered. This redstone repeater then retrieves that power and then powers the second one. And that gives off the heartbeat effect. Then the controls over here are quite simple. We're just creating basically a redstone circuit which will trigger these dispensers. So for this one here with a torch behind it, when we press that, the torch goes off, unpowering all this redstone here, and this allows this torch to turn on, which then will power the dispenser. The ex exactly the same process happens with this one, but if we don't have a torch. We power this redstone here. This then powers that, unpowers that torch, I'm powering this redstone which then allows this one to come on and that's exactly the same for the other side. Now I'm not even going to explain how this works, this is just a, <laughs> a simple lever powering the redstone lamps. But yeah, that's basically how it all works. So that's going to end off this redstone tutorial, hopefully you enjoyed. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and snap that like button. Then go ahead and check out one of these videos. This one on the left here is another redstone tutorial. Then the one on the right is a video personalized for you. But I will see you guys later. Bye.